So, <laughs> messages from water. That's actually a real. That's actually a real picture of a very special uh, bit of water that was taken uh, by a very special camera set up on a microscope um, by a guy named Dr. Masamoro Emoto. Has anybody heard of Dr. Masamoro Emoto? We got a couple hands in the audience. Has anybody ever seen the movie What the Bleep Do We Know? Maybe? All right. Well, that's where I got it from. So anyway, Dr. Uh, Masamori Moto, at some point uh, in his career after he graduated college, he became really interested in water. He, he, uh, it's been long thought that water is the most manipulative bull, if that's a word, of the four uh, basic elements. And so his idea was, there's actually a picture of him, and I heard uh, Dave said that he actually came here uh, recently, a couple years ago. I didn't know that. It doesn't speak a word of English, um, but anyway, I digress. Um, he became really interested in figuring out if there was a way to manipulate water um, and actually change the way that it, uh, the crystalline structure looked uh, when it was shot under, frozen and shot under a microscope. So his idea was, I'm going to take all this water and we're going to add information to it. Information via meditation by a monk or by whoever else it was, um, or good, good music, um, like Lil Wayne. Or, uh, or like love notes, something like that. It's actually adding information in a few different types of mediums to water and see what happens. So the first step, um, sorry for this filler slide, but basically the first step was that he took 50 Petri dishes uh, and put a little bit of water from one source in it. And he would take those Petri dishes um, and he would uh, study the effects of water, of the Petri dishes with information added versus not information added. So the second step, so he takes the Petri dishes and he puts them into uh, an ice chest at under 25 degrees uh, below Celsius and lets them get really hard. Uh, next slide. <laughs> so yeah, then there was the third and final step, which was actually a really cool camera set up in a special fridge at negative 5 degrees Celsius where you'd actually take pictures of the water structures and figure out uh, what they looked like when they had good information added to them, what they looked like when they had bad information added to them. And he's done hundreds and hundreds of blind, double-blind studies, uh, been published in peer-reviewed science journals, and um, is pretty well respected in the scientific community. He's actually released two books uh, on messages from water. So there's this whole idea of adding information. He wanted to, not, one not only wanted to know if information could be added to water to change the structure, but he wanted to know if positive versus negative information added to the water would make a difference. It seems kind of crazy and seems kind of out there, I know, um, but that's what he spent his whole life uh, dedicated to. So the last step is compare results, and what I'm going to show you in the next few slides are uh, actual real results from Dr. Masamoro Emoto. So <laughs> this is a picture of real picture. These are all real pictures. I, didn't, I don't even know Photoshop. Um, of real water that this was taken from the Fujiwara Dam, which in case you're not familiar with the Fujiwara Dam, uh, it's really, really polluted, uh, not good water source in Japan. So this is actually what one of the water, it doesn't really look like a crystal, it looks like a big glob of something. So that's what it looked like normally. Then for the second set, uh, for the other Petri dishes, he actually had uh, meditation by Reverend Kato uh, Hoki um, pray over the water for an hour-long session and retook the picture of the water that's now been blessed, and this is what it looked like. It's pretty unbelievable. It's, I mean, it's beautiful. <clears throat> this is what distilled water looked like when it was taken under a microscope. It's, again, it's kind of just gross blob. Disgusting. Looks like vomit almost. <laughs> and that's, that's what we pay $5 a bottle of water for, so distilled water. Um, and then he took the same distilled water and he applied two different types of stimuli to it, both in the form of music. One was heavy metal, um, that's the one on the left you can see, and then the other one was Box Goldberg variations. And I don't pretend to know about classical music, so I couldn't tell you what that sounds like, but I bet it's pretty beautiful. And, um, and that's actually what really came of it. And it's actually not that outrageous, if you think about it, um, that it would have this effect. I mean, don't pregnant mothers like have that superstition of playing good music for their babies? I mean real vibrations at, at the most basic level, everything is just complete energy. So it would make sense that water could be manipulated like this. <clears throat> so these were actually, he taped notes on certain stimuli. The ones, oh, past it. Okay, you get the gist. This one I think is the coolest. This one, he actually took the water sample and um, exposed it to chamomile flower extract. And what he found was these are the water crystals on the left and these are real chamomile flowers on the right. So when it was taken, 
the, uh, the picture of the water. It actually took on the look of the flowers. So I thought that was really cool. Um, here are some other interesting ones. Um, took the basic water samples and attached uh, one with a picture of Mother Teresa on it and one with a picture of Adolf Hitler. That looks kind of like a brain or something. I don't know. That was cool. So this is all very interesting and whatever, but I wanted, you probably want to know what's this got to do with anything, and I wanted to know that. So, um, well, I really got, on a personal note, I really got into like energy work after this and figuring out uh, po the difference between positive and negative energy and how to change some of the subtle energy in your body. And the reason that you should care is because your body is 72% water. So if these different uh, stimuli can have these effects on petri dishes, then imagine what your thoughts, uh, the effect that your thoughts can have on your body. And there's no doubt, um, it makes perfect sense why a lot of Eastern medicine uh, practitioners believe that uh, diseases like cancer and whatnot are really uh, self-loathing diseases. This actually, uh, this was the first draft of my slideshow, so uh, I had done a second draft, but I can ad-lib it. Anyway, <laughs> so it got me thinking about what this can do, so I really got into energy work, and um, I started reading a bunch of really good books, one by, a lot by Deepak Chopra. Uh, he does books on how to change subtle energy, and there's there are three questions uh, that you can ask yourself at any given time to, uh, to check in with how positive or negative the energy is in your life. One is, am, what am I doing right now? Is it bringing me, is, am I enjoying what I'm doing? Am I acting easily without struggle? And are positive results coming of their own accord? And those are three really good questions that at any given time you can come back to and sort of gauge the positive or negative uh, balance in your body. And uh, that's it. You know.